Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand NAND based flash memories. Okay, let's get started here. In the previous clip, we have already seen NOR based flash memories in which we saw erase programming and read operation. And we also saw for a particular operation, we used fallen northern tunneling and for the other operation, we used hot electron effect or channel hot electron injection. Let's understand the NAND based flash memories. Let's just change fallen northern tunneling understanding in the sense that we have seen that when we wanted to erase something using the fallen northern tunneling, we gave a very high voltage at the drain and zero voltage at the gate. Whereas we wanted to program something, we gave a very high voltage at the gate and low voltage or a zero voltage at the drain so that the charge can be trapped and the threshold voltage can be increased. Here, we also saw that there was a thin oxide compared to hot electron effect. It was a very, very thin oxide which led to the tunneling of electrons. All this we have covered in the basic clips. Here, this is my polygate one, polygate two. I have kept the shape as original and I have not made it focusing towards the drain as we would see why. Same is the case here. Diagram is not intimidating at all. I have tried to fabricate an NMOS. Just see what I have done. There is a P substrate on which I got an N well. We have to make the N well connection and we know that N well connection will be made through this contact. Then I made my P well. In P well I can make the fabrication of my NMOS. So N type diffusion. One is drain. This one is drain. This one is source. This is the contact for the body and this is the contact of the substrate for my N well. So for programming, we will follow a similar phenomena like what we had studied in the previous clip. We know that a high voltage is applied at the gate. Say I am applying a high voltage at the gate which is approximately equal to 20 volts. We know that this is a drain. Drain should be grounded. So this will be grounded. Source, there is no need. We can keep it floating. Correct? And this well contact, technically, for an NMOS, the body goes to ground, so this has to be zero, correct? And for a PMOS, which is fabricated on the N well, the N type goes to VDD, but here we'll make both of them go towards ground. We'll quickly understand what will happen if we give this to a higher voltage. So this will be my connection, very simple. When a high voltage is applied at its gate, we have already seen this. What's going to happen is the charge will get trapped on poly one. The drain is at zero because of the thin oxide and because of this electric field there will be a charge which will be present here and now you will take a higher threshold voltage to turn on this transistor. So drain is zero, gate is at a higher volt, source is floating and both P well and N well contacts are made to ground. Now I want to, when I want to erase what we have already seen in the previous clip is we make our gate voltage zero and we keep on increasing our drain voltage to a very high value. So gate voltage is zero is the same. But here because I am using my P-well and N-well contacts, I am not going to get my drain voltage to a higher value. Rather, I will keep my drain voltage also floating. And I will make my source also floating. And my N connection and P connection of my respective wells, I will connect to a very high voltage, say approximately equal to 20 volts. So what's going to happen is the electrons which are trapped here now what would happen because of the higher voltage of 20 volts present on the P type this electrons will start moving towards there and the charge which was present on the poly 2 I beg your pardon poly 1 in this case it will be lost and I will get back my original threshold voltage or in good sense it means that I have erased the content correct so the only change from what we have seen previously is that here I am not going to make my drain voltage go to a higher value. Rather what I am going to do is I am going to use the contacts of my P well and N well and give it a higher value and I will keep my drain floating. This is going to be very important when we study NAND blaze flash memories. So with this I think we are all set to understand the reading, writing and programming of a NAND.